This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. It has been a very long night of painstaking searches in the Bronx for victims in the rubble of part of an apartment building. They came crashing down. Late tonight, we got the word. The rubble's been cleared, and the good news, no one was found in all that debris. But there is new video tonight of the terrifying moments a corner of that building gave way. People running for their lives on the busy street below. The building's now evacuated. That means nearly 100 people are spending the night in the basement of a nearby school. Good evening, everyone. At 1131. I'm Bill Ritter. I'm Sandra Bookman. In tonight for Sade, we have three reports tonight. Joe Torres with those residents now forced from their homes. Lucy Yang with a look at the building's opening violations. And Jim Dolan following a stunning amount of progress in just a short amount of time. Jim is live on the scene in Morris Heights. Jim? Sandra, witnesses say it wasn't really one collapse, but a series of collapses that started near the top of the building and cascaded down the corner floor by floor. They say it caused a massive pile of dirt and debris on the ground below and then a frantic search for survivors in the pile. Firefighters used power saws to slice through the metal debris and searched by hand through the mountain of crumbled concrete that fell to the ground. And above them, firefighters looked into the apartments that had, in a thunderous, earth-shaking moment this afternoon, collapsed. Like, I just saw everything come down at once, and all I saw was everybody just piling up, there was cars everywhere. I was just confused. It came from the top first and it just started falling down everywhere. And this, and by the time going, the things just kept kept falling down over and over again, just keep falling. I just see a lot of stuff just falling down. I didn't even know it was a building falling until I really looked, man. And then it was the building that's there like that. Take a look. Watch the people on the street running from the gathering cloud of dust and smoke kicked up by the collapse. Mary was right there. She said she couldn't even breathe. My eyes, I couldn't see nothing. My eyes were hurting because the sand was going to my eyes. Like, it was like, I was not really seeing nothing. Um, it was, but it was really bad. Like, I was just thinking about the people that was down there and the people in the building. Firefighters were there in seconds. They had drones in the air. They brought power saws and pickaxes to claw through the debris. They had robot dogs and real dogs. A dramatic, frantic search for life buried in the pile. Uh, firefighters right now are in a dangerous position. We don't know what caused this uh, corner of the building to come down, and we don't know if any more of it's going to come down. But we're searching for life, and that's our main objective at this time. Neighbors were most concerned about the deli on the ground floor of the damaged building, where there are always people, but the mayor said the deli evacuated safely. Our Preliminary information with the owner of the store that everyone that was in the store is out at the time. And residents escaped the damaged building too. You know, that is our main objective is to get to the bottom of that pile. We'll be here until it's we're down to the street level just to make sure if there are any victims under there, hopefully we can get to them in time. Firefighters worked through the night, praying this time to find nothing after a terrifying afternoon. I was walking up the block, and then the, the building just started falling. I was scared. I was, I'm thinking, you know, I hope everybody's okay. We are back live now with this picture. Look at all of that destruction. This is from a nearby rooftop looking at all of that destruction. Who would have believed at 4 o'clock this afternoon when all of this started that it would result in this remarkable number? Zero. Zero serious injuries and zero deaths.